Now that we've created a brand new installation of Anaconda, we want to be able to work in a clean environment when we model and build our projects out. The reason we're doing this is to avoid any conflicts that may occur when you install different packages. You may be asking yourself, why am I in Google? And there's a good reason for that because in data science, you really need to stay on top of things. So I'm just going to show you where to get this information from, and then I'm going to take you through how to create an environment. So just very easily, we're creating a new Anaconda environment. So I'm just going to Google create new Anaconda environment. Click that. The first option is going to give us the official document for the Anaconda installation. So I'm going to go there and then we have all this information on managing environments and a couple different ways of creating an environment. And all those begin by utilizing an Anaconda prompt. This first one here allows us to just create a general Anaconda environment with a specified name but no specified Python version. So we're going to use this one just for best practice, which gives us the ability to specify the Python package that we want. As this says, we're going to start with our Anaconda prompt. So you've downloaded your new installation of Anaconda. Go over to your search bar is a good way to find it. Just type in Anaconda prompt. And then you're going to be taken to this terminal. And we can see that there is a base environment and then we have this default file location called user users. This is our working directory where all our files will be saved by default. So we want to create that new environment. So we're just going to just simply copy and paste this command. So you're just going to copy and paste that, but we're going to make some alterations before you hit enter. I'm going to use 3.8 for my Python version. And then also you need to change this name to something specific. So I'm going to call this Power BI 5. Now you can name it whatever you want. However, I'm doing Power BI 5 because I have multiple installations. And move your cursor over to the end of the command because all this command is saying is we're using a conda command to create a new environment called Power BI 5 with the Python 3.8 version. And I'm going to hit enter. And you can see now it's collecting the default packages. And it, here are the following new packages that will be installed. If you want to see what the other packages are, you can definitely come to the website that we were just on. But we're going to be installing some of those on our, on our own that are necessary for the work in this course. So you're going to hit Y to proceed and enter. And you can see now it is collecting and downloading and installing those packages. Now it is done. So we need to activate our new environment to install packages. And the way we activate that is called conda activate and then the name of your environment. And right now we see we have the base environment. After we hit this, we will be in this environment. Now we are not going to install any packages at the moment, but in the next video, we're going to be installing some packages. But now that you have this new environment, how do we connect this environment to Power BI? So let's open up Power BI. I am using the December 2020 version, so you might have something that looks a little bit different. I'm going to click File. You're going to navigate to Options.
Once you option menu opens, we're going to go to Python scripting. And you can see from the Python scripting that we can choose the environment based on this home directory. And you can see that ENVS is the environment. And here is one of the environments that I created previously. However, I want to use five, but this is my older version of three. So I hit browse. We go down and we can see those environments there. I hit OK. I have changed that. Now, that will be there if you save this notebook. If you don't save the new notebook, it may not default to the installation that you're looking for. Now that you have your new environment and your Python installation, and we've connected that to Power BI, we are going to start some work on our projects. See you in the next video. So we're back in our command prompt, and we want to learn how to install packages. So if you look at your prompt, you will be able to discern what environment you are in. And let's quickly review that we want to use an environment that is specific for what we are trying to do. So you can create as many as you want, remember? And we activate our environment by just typing in conda activate and then the environment name. I'm going to use Power BI. And now we are in that environment. Once you're in that environment, we want to start loading in packages or installing packages. You can do those two ways. We can use the word conda, or we can use the word pip. So if I write conda install, that is the first two parts of the command, and then we would put the package name. So I'm going to use a package name that's very familiar called pandas. It's already installed. So it's pandas. And we're going to hit enter and run that. So now you see it's collecting. It's telling us that it is a newer version of Conda that we can install. We won't worry about that at the moment. And now you can see that that new version of Pandas is being installed in that environment. And Pandas is built on NumPy. We're going to talk about why we use Pandas and why we use NumPy in several of the new videos that are coming up. And then we can do the same. So we can use pip install, and then we can choose a package name. So I'm going to choose a package name SciPy and install that using pip. Either one of those commands you can use. And now you can see that it says that that has already been satisfied. We don't need to install it. So that's just a quick video on how to install packages. We're going to be using this later on in the course.